Oh, Mal, absolute superstar. Uh, one of the greatest all-rounders in Test match history. The first man to 10,000 runs. The original Indian little master. Of course, I'm talking about Sunil Gavaskar. Sunny, thanks a lot for joining us. Oh, how, my pleasure, my how pleasure. Good and thank, how relaxing. And thank you so much for calling me an all round. I've been dying uh, to be called an all round. Well, I mean, I've got a wicket, I've got a wicket, so I'm an all round. So, name names, who did you get out? Zahir Abbas for 96. He was looking for a century in each innings. He got a century in the first innings, and uh, I bowled him one of those snake balls. So, you know, uh, 96. And we still talk, mind you. He scored over 100 first class hundreds. He did, he did. It's yeah. not about Zahir Abbas today, it's, it's not about a... you, Sonny. And you're in Australia. The first time you toured here was actually in the World 11, 1971-72. But as an Indian team member, it was 1977-78. Can you remember all the way back then? Well, yes, I do, because, you know, that was such an enjoyable tour. It was, you know, a fun tour. Uh, we had some great cricket. Uh, uh, the five test series went 3-2. Uh, but, but one of the things that I remember is some of the guys saying on the flight into Australia that uh, by that time... Uh, the Australians had got some sort of a reputation as the ugly Aussie. Huh. And, uh, and I know. And so some of the boys said to me, some of the batsmen said to me that they were actually carrying their own birth certificates as well as their, as well as their parents' marriage certificate in case they were ever called. Uh, to make them immune. Yeah. To show. To, to, show, to, to show. Well, you're wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. I've, I've got physical evidence that exactly. that's actually incorrect, Tomo. Yes. <laughs> and, and what an exciting um, tour you said as well, like a uh, lot of close test matches. Yep. But for you, 100 here on Boxing Day, and mm. also it was the first time India had won a test match in Australia. Yes, I think that, that made it even more memorable uh, to be able to make some contribution to the win. Though I have to say that it was Chandrasekhar who got six wickets oh. in each innings. That he, he was the architect of our victory. But uh, to be able to make some sort of a contribution with the bat uh, was was uh, really really nice. And uh, it, you know, I mean, in front we didn't have a full house, of course, uh, but we had a lot of people that day, and it was it was a fantastic moment when India won. Now it was for the Indians. Uh, what about next tour, eighty eighty one? You're mm -hmm. on the way to another hundred. Mm -hmm. You're facing Denisilly. Yep. And this happens. Yep. Well, I, I got an inside edge, as you can see from the forward short leg fielder. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't moved. Uh, but here I am walking Dennis off. seems encouraging. Yeah, Dennis is telling me you, uh, it hit you there, and I'm trying to say that no, it didn't. And now you see I've asked Jethan to walk off with me. But the whole thing is that the misconception is that I was upset at the LBW decision. Yes, it was upsetting. But the walk-off happened only because as I had gone past Jethan on the way to the uh, change room, the Australians gave me a spray. They they told me to well to, told me to get lost. To not stay not, here. Well, not not in so many <laughs> words. They told me to get lost. So which is where I actually have come back, and then I've asked Jethan to walk off with me. When you asked him, what was his um, well, his, <laughs> his reaction? His reaction was, "Are you serious?" And then as we walked a little further, he asked me, "Are you serious?" And uh, I, I, at which point I walked. Uh, yeah. further away from him. But why walk off? The previous day, we had this situation where we thought Border had been out, Alan Border had been out three times. And then he was, after 100, he was bowled around his legs. And the umpire started to go towards the square leg umpire to confirm whether it had happened. And the wicketkeeper, oh, Seth yeah. Kirmani, said to me, uh, if this is given not out, I'm walking off. So I said, you can't do that. And he said, no, this is questioning my integrity. Yeah, yeah. So that word walk off, you know, was there. So next, thing, next day when this thing happened, that's it. Sorry, Kumani. What? Give Cause me this. He's the one. Uh, what about the next tour, though? You're smiling, and there was plenty of smiles. You dominated the 1985-86 series. Here's a whole lot of 100 in Adelaide. Yes, it was fun. Uh, um, we had three test matches. Again, the, the series was drawn. No result in, in all the three matches. Uh, that was a very good Australian uh, team led by Alan Border. They had uh, Billy McDermott, Merv Hughes... Uh, uh, to open the bowling and batting was with batting also is very very good. And um, you played against Merv, and uh, I believe he sledged you. I think he yeah, called you a, a little kid. Yeah, yeah well, something uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Well, let's you know. But Merv had the last word. I also got back at him after getting a hundred, mind you. Uh, and uh, well, that was the first time I had actually been uh, called anything uh, apart from, of course, in Pakistan when you expect to be called. Um, now, what about one day cricket? 
uh, you were able to adjust your game. You, you're a beautiful stroker of the ball, and you like forcing the batsmen to, to chase them. But we're, we're looking at some big sixes. Well, that was the, the, the different game because, you know, we were brought up, our upbringing in cricket was to hit the ball along the ground. So this was a little bit hard to get used to. But eventually, I think by the time the, the, the thing ended... I managed to, you know, get the ball up in the air a bit. Oh, I like seeing that, Sonny. But the highlight for one day cricket was obviously the 1983 World Cup win. Uh, a bit like the Aussies four years later, you know, you weren't the favourites. Mm. But on um, final day, you, you dominated. What about the memories there? Absolutely. Uh, fantastic. And now when, when the ball hits uh, uh, holding and ricochets off, I was at uh, Gully backward point and I got the ball. Put it in my pocket. The ball is still with me, the, 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 the ball, and ran towards the Lord's dressing room. I tell you what, even you said Bolt wouldn't have been able to catch up with me. <laughs> so have you still got it now? Yes, the ball is still oh, with me. Jeez, imagine how much that would be worth. I tell yes. You. Hey, talking about the Aussie attack, what about Jeff Thompson? Oh, my God. Was he clearly the fastest bowler you faced? By a distance. I even uh, played uh, Michael Olding, who wasn't slow. No. But uh, as far as Tomo was concerned, maybe because we played him on Australian surfaces where the ball also has the extra bounce and the extra carry maybe maybe that is the reason but he was Ooh. he was unbelievable he was quick um, and what about some other highlights as a team? The 1985 uh, Championship here in Australia, you guys won it. And the celebrations, is that Ravi Shastri driving? Yes, but he, he had never driven an automatic gear car before, so I had actually <laughs> to show him how to press it and put it in gear. And that's when the, the whole thing started. But the manufacturers were actually very happy with the publicity they oh, got. I believe he left it here. He's driving around <laughs> this weekend before the Boxing Day. <laughs> well, I, I don't think so. He's got it at home. But uh, what they need to do is to make sure that they, they get onto the front foot a little bit more to make sure that they drive the Australians. I like that pun. And guess what? You've won World Cups. You've faced Tomo. You've won uh, 34 Test Hundreds, but nothing's as big as this. What about the BCF gift card? Oh, thank you. Boating, camping, fishing. What about this, Sonny? This is, this is a terrific. true highlight. Absolutely. This is going to be one of my favourites of this particular trip. Mal, what a legend. Back to you.